One of the reasons that uh, people wanted a good light source was in photography, of course. I mean, so nowadays we have our cameras and they have a built-in flash. It's all rather nice. But what did they use before we had these flash guns and the flash cameras? Well, this is one of the apparatus that was tried for a while. Inside the tube here, there's a gas called nitric oxide. This is a colourless gas, but when we take the top off of this, you may well see a brown gas coming out. And this is due to the reaction with the uh, nitric oxide reacting with the oxygen in the air, forming a brown gas called nitrogen dioxide. Well, I'm going to add some carbon disulfide to this. Carbon disulfide is a little like carbon dioxide, but instead of the oxygen atoms, the two red atoms that we see in the carbon dioxide molecule up there, we have sulfur instead, carbon disulfide. So we're mixing these two reagents together, and in a moment we're going to apply a light to the top, and you should see some light forming. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you missed that one, we'll try a slightly bigger one. Okay, so we're mixing the two together. The nitric oxide, NO, and the carbon disulfide. If we have the lights down, please. <laughs> Thank you. Remember the carbon disulfide contains sulfur and the yellow colour that we see here is due to the sulfur that's been formed in this reaction. Okay, well that seems rather inconvenient. We wouldn't really want to take one of those along every time we wanted to take a picture of somebody. So obviously people were looking for other ways to light up uh, for their photographs.